and he is going to talk to, with us a little bit about dynamic web searches. All right. Um, so, have you heard of John Fisk Sketchpad? No. Um, so, uh, I just want to tell you a little story about Sketchpad and my experience with Sketchpad. I, I teach. Um, uh, I'm from Ontario, Canada, and we've been lucky to have Sketchpad at our arsenal for free since, and I say this not jokingly, since the turn of the century. Um, and even uh, uh, more recently, uh, uh, in the last decade, students have take-home rights for it. And so, uh, I lobbied very heavily to have a computer-based classroom for math class because we had this and other software. And so luckily, my somewhere somebody had some, some money and I taught in a class that had 30, cla 30 computers since around 96 or something like that. And uh, so I always had Geometry Sketchpad at my, at my disposal and uh, tried to get students to create stuff with Sketchpads, very powerful, but found that the return on investment wasn't really great, uh, even though we had these computers with us. Uh, and so I thought it would be better to have these uh, uh, kids do some pre-made sketches. And I, there's this thing, start with sketch, not from scratch. And so that's what I've done a lot with having a set of computers in my classroom. I could just go and work on a little sketch pad sketch for five minutes and then go back to something else. And I think that's the most ideal way to use technology. You know, not have an iPad day or a smart board day, but have that at your fingertips. Now, they don't let me teach students anymore. <laughs> so uh, I'm a consultant at my board, so uh, I cut to now, and uh, I really hadn't used Sketchpad in a while. Uh, but I had a lot of sketches, and last year I got access to uh, creating web sketches. The problem, one of the problems with Geometry Sketchpad is that you need the software. And if you've got a Chromebook, it won't work on a Chromebook. And our board is a, is a Google Apps board now. Uh, I encourage you while I'm talking, because this is going to be probably boring. Uh, head over to the, uh, that blog, my blog there, and hit on the dynamic web sketches to do a little exploring. I'll show you some stuff in a second. But uh, the problem is we've got all these kids with devices, especially handheld phones. Uh, why aren't we using those? And so with the advent of getting access to uh, web sketch, now you don't need any software. All these dynamic sketches can be available to anyone on any device at any time. So I just want to show you a few of the ones that that I was, I'm working on, or I have worked on. Um, so if you go to that blog, I'm gonna actually drop this down so you can see that. Does that work? I don't know if that's gonna work. We'll see. Um, and you go to the dyna dynamic web sketches uh, tab. Uh, are all of the sketches that I've made that I think are useful, and I try to make these so that they're relatively short. They're not meant to be half hour things. They're meant to be five, 10 minute uh, activities. And specifically, I've been working on a lot with uh, practicing skills. So for example, um, one of the ones that I most recently did uh, is just on estimating the size of angles. Um, I find that I found that I was going from classroom to classroom, kids had trouble uh, uh, deciding how big an angle was, and so I created the sketch. Uh, for example, it says uh, estimate 60 degrees, you drag this out, make your estimate, and you check your estimate, it shows you the answer, and you're acceptable if you're within five degrees. And then it says try another one, it gives you a new angle, and you can hit try another one as many times as you'd like, and you can uh, check your answer manually. Something for kids to practice there. And then they can check between angles less than uh, 180 or 360, so uh, you get a different constraint along the way, so 70 degrees um, along the way. And then I saw, again, with angles, uh, measuring angles was a problem. And uh, I can't be at every kid's desk to help them, and so I created this sketch to help uh, kids measure angles. And uh, again, it generates an angle, you measure it, you type the angle in, and then in this case, if you are, what is that? Like about 45. Uh, if you're within one degree, uh, you're considered correct. And then you hit try again, and it generates a new angle, and you can measure as many as you like. Um, same with, uh, I want kids to be numerically, uh, numer numerically proficient. I like them to know about their perfect squares, and so this is the perfect square guesser. So 
where it's estimating where 40, root of 49 is, they drag their, school, their uh, line, show the answer, and they can try another one. The first set is all perfect squares up to under 100, and then under 500, and then square root, so they're actually estimating values there. And so if you want to estimate the square root of 85, drag it to uh, a little bit more than 9, show your answer, and uh, then you can try another one. Um, like this one, I like proportional reasoning. Guess where 32% is, show your answer, uh, try another one. Gives you a different size bar, different percentage. And if you want a hint, it'll show you increments of 10%. And then, uh, again, show your answer. You get an infinite number of little practice things. This is not meant to be something a kid uses for a half hour. It's meant to be something they can just throw on their phone, practice so get get a little bit of proficiency there. Um, I've been using uh, these equation strips a lot, and so this is not so much for students, this one is for teachers. So this will actually generate an equation strip, so this is the equation 10x plus 15 equals 35. This is the equation strip representation. It actually shows all four representations depending on how you want it oriented, uh, but if you change the numbers, uh, it generates a new equation strip dynamically. And so you can literally take a screenshot of that, cut it out, put it on a test, put it on an assignment, put it on the board, whatever you like to do. Um, so these are all in my, um, on that tab, dynamic web sketches. I'll show you this one last one. There's all kinds of them there. Uh, there are the original geometry sketchpad files for all of you, any of you sketch heads out there. Uh, so <laughs> if you want to uh, remix it, change it, uh, you're, you're welcome to do that. The last one I'm going to show you with is my fa one of my favorites. Uh, this is my Escher uh, drawing. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm just I'm going to stop now. I got get that at that blog at any time. Engaging.